Welcome to episode 43 of Crab Inc. My name is Alan Predelin and today I wanted to talk about investment, specifically your investment in yourself. Now, if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably already in, you know, in the mindset of seeking out information and investing in yourself. What I will say is that any training regimen that we have, especially for us as instructors, you know, has to be planned, has to be consistent and in order to be able to work. So if it's just something out of the seat of your pants, you just listen to the podcast, maybe you miss one, you listen to the other one. It's not even just about this podcast. It's about really you, every time you decide, let me take five minutes to look at something that will give me something back, that will better myself. That's when you, uh, that you know that you're on the right track. That goes with your training. That goes with your business system. <clears throat> there are people that... Uh, are incredible in the martial arts industry. And when you look at them, like I was talking to my friend uh, Larry Escher from uh, um, Texas Krav Maga this weekend, and he was telling me about David Kovar. David Kovar is an incredible person within the martial arts uh, um, industry, let's say, because not only he's an incredible business person and he's been incredibly successful with his business, but also, he's an incredible martial artist. I mean, he trains all the time. He'll take as many seminars. He's always a student. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's just one example. But realistically, there is a billion examples. You know, the people that are at a certain level. I have not seen people at a certain level that don't put training themselves and their staff, uh, you know, uh, as a priority. That is the number one thing. So many times I see instructors that are telling me, all kinds of things about the market and this doesn't work here, that doesn't work here, there. But at the end of the day, they're not doing anything to really invest in themselves and make themselves more competitive. So, you know, I train, some of you know already, I train jiu-jitsu a lot right now. That's my mountain to climb. You know, I'm starting to set up weekly training with my instructors, uh, with a, a private instructor to be able to train them the way I train, you know, on a separate session. So right now they all train in classes, in regular classes, but I want to set up a different, uh, a different structure. You know, uh, the, I'm a member of something called the Cordon University that is for sales and, uh, and business development and so on. And so I usually uh, watch at least three to five videos per day of that. Plus all the other stuff, all the other research that I look at, webinars and so on, you know, we need to be able to continuously evolve. And, and again, our return will be based on that investment. So if you are an instructor, if you are a school owner, start putting out a tally of what are you doing during the week to better yourself. And you'll see that the way your business is going to uh, perform is directly proportional to the amount of uh, um, commitment you have in your own training. Every time I hear, no, but I can't, I can't come to the seminar, I can't come to the master class. But it's not that I'm the end all be all of training, you have to come to my master classes all the time. But I want you to feel like the master class, the way I'm setting it up, is really more of a way for us to kind of get together every time we meet, every time I've done a training, even if I was teaching, in some cases I was a student because I had other instructors come in. Every time I did a master class or I took a master class, I got something from it. Every time. I just came back from Mexico and big shout out to my 360 Krav Maga uh, in Celaya. You know, great group. They're working super hard. You know, I went there for them. You know, I have about seven uh, people in Celaya that are active network that I support. And I love going to these groups because they're not big seminars and we spend three days uh, talking about business, techniques, training methodology, teaching methodology, and, and really try to get ourselves better. By the way, we did it inside uh, a um, jiu-jitsu school. And, uh, and the jiu-jitsu instructor was very supportive. Uh, we also had another small seminar, open seminar, which we had uh, a, a local kickboxing and camp instructor, Jorge, come in and, uh, and, and train as well. I mean, it's just awesome when you can bring people together. And I feel like we always learn something from each other. So that was my purpose of the Active Network when I set up. That if you listen to the podcast, you probably know. I did not want to have an association. I want to have a 
uh, a, a group of people that are connected to a professional, you know, network, and uh, that that already can budget in, you know, training, you know, quarterly, monthly, realistically, you can train every month. I do master classes multiple times a month, uh, all over the place. But it's also to be able to meet schools. I am going to be in uh, um, Sacramento on September 8th and 9th at K3 Martial Arts. Now, if you don't know K3 Martial Arts, first, Johnny, that is a brown belt with 360 with me, he's an unbelievable guy. He's been training Krav Maga, at least in martial arts for 20 years. He's been doing Krav Maga, I think, for 15 or 17 or something like that. But great guy. You know, I can't say anything bad about him. He's, he's great, and I can't wait to see him up there. And he's coming to Masterclass here in Long Beach. But... Then also, Dom McMahon is the owner of the school, and he's a pivotal person within, I mean, he was on board of directors of different United Professionals, different associations, and so on. I mean, these are people that, you know, like Doyle and Johnny too, and stuff is his main person, that have so much to offer, not just to take. And Doyle and Johnny were just down at the Master of the Business event in Long Beach. And it's really interesting just because even if you can take, I mean, this person, they, they have a great, successful school. They took time to come down and take the workshop and kind of learn a little bit on how we do things within our adult market. And uh, I think it's important that, I think that people like Doyle, like Johnny, understand that there's always something to be learned out there. And, and sometimes, you know, it's, it's really a matter of priorities. You know, their schools perform well because they're always looking forward to how do we make ourselves better and how we make our program better. So I'm going to be there on the 8th and 9th. Um, I'm visiting actually some great schools also in the Northeast region soon. Uh, we have some new schools in the Northwest uh, and uh, in the Washington, D.C. area. So, I mean, there's a lot of people, there are a lot of people coming on board. And I feel like regardless of the size, everybody has something to offer. Every school I've been to, I've always seen something that is like, man, that is awesome. I should do that. Okay, and, uh, you know, that goes back to that investment. And I feel like, you know, I love when people come to Long Beach and I want people to come to Long Beach and the one in Long Beach are set up a little bit, facilities a little bit bigger than the most uh, and so it allows us a little bit more space to do certain things. But I encourage you also visiting other schools. I'm going to be in Texas in September as well, both at Austin and in Houston. Um, I mean, there, there's so much uh, Tennessee... There's so much out there. I want you to feel, like I said, plan on, if you want to join the Active Network, great. Maybe you can do a one-off event and just come. Um, if you want to go to other events, I know there's some, uh, like Larry, for example, just came back from Rev Gear University, that I think it's a great event. I mean, it's, I've never, it's like training. You know, realistically, the only bad training that we can do, especially when we know what we're talking about, is uh, not training. That is the only bad training. I mean, if you go and work out, if you go to jiu-jitsu, if you do boxing, if you do kickboxing, if you do Krav Maga, I'm talking about instructors when you train yourself, it's good. You know, business-wise, start asking questions and look at yourself and say, what is that I can improve? But take a subject. You think you're perfect? That I know you don't. Because that would be very, um, you know, uh, very weird. Um, pick a subject. Put on uh, YouTube and look at uh, follow-up procedure for sales process. And, and look at a couple of videos. Take five minutes or we'll watch a couple of videos and see what comes out. But try to do that daily. Set up some time in which you are going to do these things and you'll see that everything is going to change. I see even with my staff or my instructors, if I slip, and I let things go by where instructors don't train when they're supposed to, or they don't participate in activity of the school and everything else, there's always a performance problem with that instructor in the class. Always. Okay? So, invest in yourself, and you'll see great changes. Make sure you train martial arts, train physically, train you know, as far as the business, every day. The business is the easiest one. You can literally take five days, five hours, say five days, five minutes out of your morning where you're having coffee or, you know, you got knows what or you're watching a stupid cat video on YouTube 
and look at a sales video every day. And you'll see how things start changing, not just necessarily from the information, but you making that important automatically will change your view on your business, on yourself, and allow your business to thrive and your martial arts school and your Krav Maga school to thrive. So, little announcement like always, um, we have a masterclass August 25th and 26th in Long Beach, California. Um, as always, you can uh, either sign up to the Active Network, uh, you know, if you're Active Network, you can attend, or you can sign up just for the event. Um, why is it important? Because I'm ramping up also the um, master classes in Long Beach. I have a great event uh, uh, planned already for October as well, uh, 20th and 21st. That's going to be, I'm not going to be teaching at all. It's going to be all women instructor. Some Krav Maga, but it's going to be mainly about understanding you know, what is out there. We're going to have a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. We're going to have a world-renowned kickboxer and kickboxing trainer, you know, fighter. Uh, we're going to have a fitness component. We're going to have a Krav Maga component. And, but I want you to kind of understand because so many times I hear Krav Maga being for women. And I love making an impact on women because I really feel like they're some of my best students because they're very receptive, very good. But then when you look at the face of Krav Maga, and it's mainly guys. It's mainly bald-headed guys like me with short hair and, and big that don't really represent the population that we're going after. I think there is a, a problem sometimes with messaging because if you learn from me only, if you learn from whoever is out there, um, in most cases you have these burly guys trying to be something. And, and then we tend to have a delivery that is very specific to what we learn. So we're, let's try to... Um, change a little bit dynamic and see what else is out there. Let's really learn from women that have uh, taken this learning process, the teaching process to the next level, and let's get together. That's going to be in October. In uh, August, we're going to have uh, Gustavo Gasparin, that is actually the person that gave me my blue belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's a great guy. He owns uh, MMAleach.com, that I highly recommend it. It's, it's a great uh, website and he's a great instructor. Um, we have Nicolas Sayak, Sayak, and he's a Sabbat expert. I've known how him a long time. I met him in L.A. years ago at my school there, and he's incredible. I love the fact that he has a very different take on kickboxing like we do it and striking. Lots of movement. I really like it, you know, because it's, again, lots of movement. I think very applicable for us. I feel like most of us, especially when we have a size deficiency, when we're sparring, we tend to be very sitting down. I'm a fan of movement. The best way to defend is not getting hit and so uh, and being able to attack. So Nicholas is incredible and he's going to be teaching a session on Sunday afternoon. So if you get the chance, either sign up at 360kramaga.com for the event or at kramagauniversity.com, you can sign up for the Active Network. And as always, it gives you access to all the events that we put on with the master classes. Again, we're gonna, I'm going to be in Sacramento, I'm going to be in Buffalo, New York, I'm going to be in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, I'm going to be in Austin, Houston, Mexico again at the end of October. I mean, there's so much going on, um, you know, just come and train. Until then next time, you know, episode 44 coming up next.